he does this uh, weird thing where he stands out in the middle of abandoned parking lots and, uh, like, tries to eat people that pass by. Like, he, he chases them away, but he's, like, never caught them before. He, he's, thankfully, thankfully, yeah, no, he's never, he's never succeeded in eating anybody, I, I promise. Hey, what's up? Uh, I like your plants. Shh. Uh, what, what what are they for? Like, what, uh, what exactly are you doing? Shh. I'm trying to attract plant eaters. Plant eaters? Like, what for? I have to eat something. Oh, I mean, I mean, you know, it'd be a lot easier if you just went to the supermarket, got you some, Shh. like, deli meats. I can't go to the supermarket because I don't have any money. I already spent it all on oriental rugs. Um, I mean, you know, it's pretty cheap. I already spent I mean, you it all just, on Oriental you know, like, rugs and Beyblades. I mean, if you, you just have like a little bit of I don't amount, subscribe to your I mean, labels. You ah. uh, that's how I met him, actually. And, um, no, yeah, the, the, the saddest thing is that he will never really find romance. He, he can't because he's the last dinosaur, right? He can't find a mate. Uh, doesn't, <laughs> does, that doesn't stop him from trying, though. He has this weird, um mating dance that he does in public. It's, I've tried to get him to stop. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, it just kind of ends up being awkward for everybody. I think he's had a hard time adjusting to the modern world. He's got these like really short arms that make it difficult to like grab stuff and you know do like simple errands. Um, I took him in because well, you know he needed needed a place to stay. I needed a roommate. Seems like an all right guy. He can be kind of annoying, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Hey man, what are you doing with all this wheat stock? I walked to Bruges. 